Mount Zion is a stable ministry under the leadership of Reverend Dr. Larry Macon, Sr. He is our senior pastor. For over 30 years, he has been moving us to greater heights. Early in the year, our church hosted one of the premier financial empowerment conferences in the city of Cleveland called the Freedom Conference, hosted by Pastor Larry Jr., our co-pastor, where visitors from all over the city came as national motivational speakers and author George Fraser gave the clarion call for living a debt-free life. Our partners and sponsors for this event were Huntington Bank, PNC Bank, and the AJ Automotive Group. Speakers included representatives from the Urban League, Key Bank, State Farm, and S. G and Sands accounting firm. Hundreds of people took the pledge to live a debt-free life, received resources on starting their own businesses, and will be making wise decisions in their finances. This year, we have made great strides to educate and empower families. Our monthly family night out event on the second Wednesday of each month includes Mrs. Macon's ministry to women through Sisters Encouraging Sisters, which features powerful speakers and uplifting stories from women of Christ. Then we have our men's empowerment sessions with Dr. Macon, where new ideas are shared and a new fellowship for men and brothers are formed. Children and youth go into their sessions where they study the Bible and watch the stories through DVD video and small Small group teaching. Our Kids World Ministry on Sundays has seen growth in their numbers for ages 5 through 12. They now get to study the Word of God in many different ways through sound, touch, and sight. We try to make it where they bring something home from time to time to parents to show them what they have learned on Sundays. We also have our Tiny Tuts Ministry for ages 2 to 4 where parents are given the option of alternative care for the little ones during both our Sunday worship services. We supply toys, snacks, games, activities, and videos to keep the young children occupied while parents are in service on Sundays. And let us not forget about our Youth Pastor Dan and the Young Believers Team. They are equipping our young people with the Word of God and going over relevant topics and issues that young people encounter. Our goal is to increase resources and programming for our youth. We make sure yearly to set aside time for them, like during our Takeover Conference, where the youth take over our Fine Arts Center during the week with special guests to teach them, help them, and mentor them. Most importantly, we share the Word of God with our youth every chance we get. Socially, we want to make sure we continue to encourage fellowship in our church. We try to make our foyer areas, fine arts center, and classrooms conducive to socializing and greeting each other as we reunite every week for worship. We keep coffee and tea available on Sundays for those who just want to sit around and talk, evangelize, and share with the people who attend church weekly. We plan on continuing with our updating on decorum painting, carpet cleaning, and modernization of all of these areas. It is our goal to keep our facility clean with the help of our cleaning vendors, maintenance workers, teams, and staff members who make sure God's house is kept in good shape. But we do not stop there. We also are concerned about Christian growth. In this season, we have conducted many classes to help people in their daily faith walk. We started a home study college, Mount Zion University. It's where students can study the Word of God at their own pace and on their own time. We develop small group life classes in all areas, including a special group for singles, a marriage series entitled Foundations, Overcomer Groups in Faith and Hope, and we still keep our traditional Sunday school for youth and adults. Mount Zion National Ministry. Our pastor and co-pastors were given the privilege to meet the president to pray for him at the White House. And we have also been able to host notable community leaders during our annual Martin Luther King, the Dreamer service. They are Dr. Terry Butler, Vice President Emeritus of the Cuyahoga Community College, Clarence Bozeman, driver and friend of Dr. King, and we also hosted famed Congressman Louis Stokes and Cleveland historical first African-American judge, Jean Merrill Capers, along with celebrating the life of historical Cleveland pastor, Dr. Payton. Through these events, we were able to bring in over 1,000 new visitors into the church between three events. We believe in Christian growth and biblical growth. Our noon Bible study with Pastor Larry has been going through the Old Testament from Genesis to Malachi with people of all ages, retired or just on a lunch break to receive a daily dose of God's Word. Our evening Bible study with Dr. Macon has been going through the New Testament. This has become a great time during the week for people to be revived, to receive a covering and prayer in the midweek. It has also been a time of fellowshipping and for people to meet new friends in their church. 
We also have been forging community partnerships. We are working with the Village of Oakwood on bringing in the community to our church. They have held several dinner shows, concerts, youth mentorship programs, and activities for seniors, which have brought in many people from around the community that have never been to Mount Zion. Many of them have come back and still visit us frequently. The world-famous Glenn Miller Orchestra was here, and many tribute bands to Motown have all held concerts and events on our campus. We recently hosted Ashland University in hosting their graduation on all those who have received their theology degree. Over 300 people came in on a Saturday to our church to watch this momentous occasion. We have a global television partnership. The last couple of years in December, we have hosted Dr. Macon's Best Christmas Ever, where our production about the birth of Jesus has been shown internationally through our television partner, TCT, one of the largest Christian television networks in the world. Dr. Macon is now the frequent host of the famed show, Ask the Pastor, on TCT. He has also hosted, along with Pastor Larry, the famed show, Praise the Lord, on the largest Christian network, Turner Broadcasting Network, TBN. Our services are frequently broadcast on these channels to a global audience, giving us the mission to reach millions of people through our TV and broadcast ministry. Again, our mission is to support our youth and local school system. We have partnered up with the Bedford School System in hosting our mentoring programs entitled Men and Women of Distinction, where we teach young teenage boys and girls how to become successful adults and how to face the challenges that they encounter in the home and in life. In other news, we recently held our Amazing Women Luncheon where hundreds of women packed out the Fine Arts Center for a celebration of the accomplishments of women. Through this event, we were able to lift up community leaders within our church who have done great things for people. But let us not forget about our men and fathers who hosted the gathering, one of our city's largest gathering of men, young men, and boys. We would like to mention that we travel to nursing homes weekly, ministering to the elderly, the disabled, and the sick. We call and pray for the sick and shut in. Monthly, our staff serves communion to those who are unable to attend church due to illness. We open our facility for funerals and weddings and to share in some of the most critical moments in the lives of people. We also do baptisms monthly for those who become new followers of Christ. We strive to provide outreach and relief to those in need through our City Mission Ministry, our Access Women's Shelter Ministry, the Hunger Center, and our Care Ministries to help people who lack resources. We brought in national preachers like University President and Pastor Dr. Marvin A. McMichael, an evangelist and worship leader, Alan Alexander of Fort Lauderdale and Trinidad, West Indies. We are connected with the Kingdom Association of Religious Pastors and Leaders under the leadership of our long-term revivalist, Bishop Walter Thomas. This keeps us connected with hundreds of churches around the country. We are a part of the Champions Network of Churches, where we work to support organizations like World Vision to feed impoverished children. We also work with Reverend Alex Twum and his entire family. He's our African friend and pastor who trains and sends out missionaries to reach the children of West and Central Africa. This is just a portion of what we do here at Mount Zion.